guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my, um, it's a, it's not a brow routine. I'm going to save that for a later video, but I'm going to do a brow powder versus a brow pencil and show you guys the difference. So I'm pretty excited to be doing that for you guys today. Um, I'm working on a new series on my channel that I'm going to be called Makeup Class. And it's basically going to be bringing back the old YouTube where we're doing like tutorials and stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited. I'm obsessed with that day in like YouTube and I wish we still had that. But after this, I have to actually let this computer charge. So anyways, I'm just going to... You ripped the dinosaur's head off. I love my children. You need to start with a spoolie. I am just using the Laura Lee Los Angeles one because it actually has a brush attached at the end. So it's gonna look good for powder. Also, if you didn't notice, I had all my makeup done already. So the pencil that we are gonna be going up against is gonna be the Catrice, or this is the Essence, I'm sorry. Essence Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil, and I have mine in the shade 01. Blonde. It is a micro precise pencil. It's super tiny. I don't know if this is going to match with my blondish gray hair, but we are going to see. Brow pencils I've noticed are usually typically pretty dry. This one's pretty creamy. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through again and squeeze my brows. All right, so this is the pencil side. Looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is the Anastasia. Brow Powder Duo. I have this one in the shade Blonde. And again, I'm going to take my Laura Lee Los Angeles. This has a mirror in it, which is pretty nice. Spooling my brows. And then I'm going to take the edge of that Laura Lee brush. There is two different shades in here, but I'm just going to mix the two together. It's been a very long time since I've used a powder in my brows. Probably like 2016? <laughs> Way pre-baby. Now we have a child that's throwing his dinosaur head that he just hatched this morning at mommy. So I think you can kind of tell the difference in me just doing the tail. You know, daddy didn't even get to see your dinosaur when you hatched it. It did not live very long. I'm so sad. I'm actually really sad about that. All right. So... I've got that done. All I'm going to do is go back in with the spoolie and just go through and make sure that the brow hairs are just kind of like natural. And it kind of helps like because you're going to like obviously brush away some product. So it kind of helps to have the brush that has the product on it still. Okay, and that is it. This is the brow powder side so you can kind of decide so obviously this one is more thicker more fuller has more pigment to it and this is more natural so if you're going for a more dramatic -y type of look and you want a more thicker fuller pigmented looking brow I'm definitely going to recommend the powder and then if you want a more natural look I'm going to go for this one so I think that with this look this is actually a more natural look but I kind of like the powder side a little bit better um, let me know which side wins in your opinion, and I'm going to end the video here. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, y'all.